Hello folks, Mink here with more L.A. Noir. And in the last case, we stopped Herbert Chapman after he stole a trolley and went kind of rough shot through the streets. And then ultimately decided to engage us with a weapon drawn and we had to gun him down even though we don't think he was our guy. The evidence kind of pointed to him, but us as players know it's not him. And Cole in the game has his doubts. For good reason. But anyway, let's see where we go this time. Mr. Kelso? That's what the sign on the door says, miss. Okay. I guess we're playing as Jack Kelso. Nice. Uh, all right. Settlement check, 20,000. Yep. There's no need to come into the office, Ms. Lichtman. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. I don't accept the settlement. What do you mean you don't accept? I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A $200 policy with a $20,000 payout? You should... I don't want the money. What do you mean you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Okay, let me get the case file. Uh... Oh, just you wait. There's got to be more in these files. Yep. I have no idea what I'm looking for, though. Uh-huh. Sounds like your friend took a hell of a fall. I'm sorry for your loss. Whatever. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Lou Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. Uh... You're looking kinda... <laughs> with that head turn. But you are keeping eye con- nope, nope. Lost it. You want me to reopen this case based on your woman's intuition? That isn't going to happen. Take the money. I've already told you I do not want the money. There's something wrong with that house. You and Buck Walter weren't married? No. And how did you become his beneficiary? We were family friends. Um, nope. Looking even less confident this time. Sorry. You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. You really want to know? Yes. 
We were interned together on Ellis Island, resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. Oof. You see the irony in that, Mr. Kelso. We spent four years there. Oh my. Okay. So the roof collapsed. Accidents happened. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Miss Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. You see, now you don't have that cocky head turn. You are maintaining eye contact. So now, I believe you. I'm intrigued, Miss Lichtman. I really am. But you're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. There is a conspiracy surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lichtman. Flimsy, but heady. I've told you what I know, Mr. Kelso. What are you going to do about it? All right, Miss Lichtman. One final question. Yes. What's your address? Is that the usual? Is there anything usual about this case, Ms. Lichtman? The address is on the letter, Mr. Kelso. The address? Not the phone number. Ugh. Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack. Upstairs. Come on, I'll walk you up. What the hell is that? Oh, just please wait. This is the letter, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we already we already seen that. We already saw the file. I'll be in touch. Oh, uh, okay. Telephone number. Got it. All right. Whoops. Sorry, sorry. Joe's buddy. Nice. Wow. I think this guy's a faster walker than Cole. Damn. Are we going to the Mocambo this Friday? Mr. Benson? You wanted to see me? Oh, yes. Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I noticed Elsa Lickman in the lobby. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Like I said, Curtis, this is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lichtman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Elsa Lichtman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think She's of it. She's the beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Well, Miss Lichtman is making some pretty serious accusations. She says the case stinks and that She's something She's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. It's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. <laughs> do I have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack. Fine. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. Thanks, Mr. Benson. Uh, 
Okay. Your car, Mr. Kelso. Thanks, kid. The main reason Santa's so jolly is because he knows where all the bad boys are. Oh, yeah, there's no, hey, you can drive. I guess that also means no banter. Yeah, hey, we were here once before us, Cole. That's not how my pop taught me to mix it. Someone is cutting corners. Hmm. Yeah. Dozing and starting again. Leland Monroe, the man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. Saw that. Already saw it. No. It's not all that big of an office, so guess that's it. Hey, you just can't be walking around down here. I'm Jack Kelso from California Fire and Life. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off. I'm investigating the accidental death of a Lou Buckwalter, and... You deaf? Do I have to beat on you? Looks like you do. Oh, God. I came to see the house where Lou Buckwalter died. You were just about to offer to show me the way. It's out the gate and three houses down on the left. Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. There's nothing there. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. Fine. As long as you're out of my sight. No, 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 no. We have a hat to get. I think we'll drive. The place falls down and then they bulldoze it. What gives here? And that doesn't zoom in. Okay. I'm out of here. Hey, there's such a thing as soap, you know. 
Never Let's try to piece you. this together. That's not right. Buddy, you drop something? Keystone Films? Who gets their lumber from a film studio? Hmm. Holy shit. Okay. God. You know, if I didn't drive, I wouldn't have the problem that I currently have. So... I will walk to the phone and then run back to the car. Jack Kelso, California Fire and Life Investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. The address is 658 North Wilton Place. Is there anything else? No, thank you, ma'am. Don't need this? You're okay. for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, not here. At a housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So? I found some lumber over there had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been closed since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nix. Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Is there a key to the gate? No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. They're working on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. All right. Or anything in her. I guess his newspapers aren't important. All right. Nothing. Being able to do that in a suit. Crazy. Screening room.
Tell me there's nothing over here. down. Too bad it won't support a roof. I mean, look, it said not for construction use on the wood itself. And how did that little piece of paper not blow away? So this is where their lumber comes from? Nice. Gotta be something else around here. Wonder what's left in the buildings. So, is that my hint to check out the screening room? I think it is. So yeah, looks like they're cheaping out on the cost, burning the buildings down, collecting insurance. At least that's what I'm getting out of this. And Jack, being a part of the insurance company, didn't know any of this. Although I guess neither does anybody else. See what the rich and powerful have to say for themselves. The real should be nearby. You would think. Well, 
bask in the reflection of most pictures. Here, here. And it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream. And Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So, how is your new development selling, Eli? You cannot throw them up fast enough, Ray. And that's part of the problem, but Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor from public housing. God damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. That's why we bought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's red by the back door. You can't have it both ways, Eli. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the road docks. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean uh, our pockets. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise three billion dollars. I need to find a game well or a telephone. Damn. Damn. So my question is, why did they decide to record that? Because that seems highly damning and suspicious. God forbid somebody finds it. Operator, I'd be glad if you put me through to police dispatch. Putting you through now. This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buck Walter case? Mr. Benson? Are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Luke Buckwalter. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around 9. I'll be waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. Auf Wiedersehen, Mr. Kelso. Thanks for your help. Oh, boy. Why would we call our boss when we clearly saw him on the film? Oh boy. Hello, Cole. I don't suppose I'd make a plea. Cause, baby, you know I'm guilty. She takes a break around nine. What were you doing with him? 
I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's not my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risks. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help, and he hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. Investigate site two. All right. I keep forgetting that we're the driver. I'm supposed to go investigate this. I'm thinking. I like how even the grass is all like... I guess it's turf. Nice wiring job, fellas. <laughs> Keep them in the dark. Oh, my. Thirsty. Oh, man. Something, Mac. I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up. Get on with it. What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. Oh god. Let's put a few back. Don't get impatient now. <laughs> Time for you to lose some teeth. Don't worry, buddy. I'll lay you out quick. Uh... You're a worn tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and into the trunk. Uh. Um.
sure he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. The boys introduce themselves. <laughs> What do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Hmm. Yeah, I know a good place. We'll pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German bitch next. Sorry, pal. Desperate times. Holy shit. Monroe owns the city. Owns the cops. I need to Must be his mom. Car. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Hello. California drivers. There's only one left. Bad driving. Hey. Oh, that's not so bad. Where are they? Is that the last of them? All right. So you're still carrying that Army 45, Cole. Okay, so uh, that happened. I guess it wasn't really a case per se. Well, I guess for Jack Kelso it was. But uh, yeah, you got to play as Jack Kelso. Who again, I feel is a better character than Cole, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying the run so far. I'm enjoying this, and uh, like last time, things are starting to come to a head here, so 
I think we're starting to at least approach the end. And uh, until next time, this is Mink. Goodbye.